Green King Films. We're here with Coach Matt Potak of the Gamble Roger Steen Rays. Hey, Coach, 2-0. and You just took out the uh, Fruit Cold Flyers. 2-0 and start to the season. Coach, real quick, give me your thoughts on today's game. Oh, I'm just super proud of the kids. It was a great win. Um, you know, we had a lot going on last week. It was a great win against Murray, but, you know, struggled a little bit, made some mental mistakes, but we, we did a great job this week. Our defense, my hats off to our defense, just phenomenal, phenomenal game. Anytime you can shut a team out, that's, that's always a positive. And uh, we pride ourselves down here on defense. We always have. Our defensive coordinator, Coach Ron Evans, does a great job. I mean, he, he runs the whole defense. Him and Coach Blocker, uh, I just can't. I'm, I'm so proud of those guys with their toughness and, and their resiliency. Coach, this your first time beating this Fruco yeah. Flyers team um, in your career here. Uh, yeah. Gamma. Oh, Coach, yeah. how special was this win, Coach? Oh, it's special. You know, Fruco's a great program. I mean, I, I've got nothing but respect for them. Uh, you know, every year we've always had, you know, a little bit of a midway slump, and, and Fruco's always a team that's, that's knocked us off. And, um, you know, they're a great program, like I said, and, and we really wanted this today. The eighth graders really wanted it. Um, you know, our coaching staff really wanted it, and, and they're a great, you know, team. And we knew they were going to bring some uh, some toughness to us and some size. Got a really good front seven up there, and, and so we just knew we had to focus on it, not think so much about what's happened in the past, focus more on the future and uh, and the goal and task at hand. So we accomplished that. Yes, sir, Coach Arishan Tech. It was on point today. Case yeah. and Blanco, uh, Big Sandy Mario. Coach, talk oh, about yeah, those yeah. two guys pounding the rock as well as the offensive line opening up those holes. Yeah, for those our guys. offensive line did a great job. You know, Rob Cook worked with them this week. Um, we also had Chris Barnes. We had a few guys that came over and, and just kind of worked with them on, on some things. Um, we just wanted to make sure that we were. You know, getting aggressive, getting physical at the point of attack, right steps, and um, we looked a lot better today up front. Sander did a great job. Kaysen, I mean, the, both those guys, Julian Quintero, um, the way they run the football was was, was very good. Um, we had some good runs at the end of the game also with, uh, with Raymond Evans and uh, Joseph Soto, one of our linebackers. He came over and played some running back. So uh, good all, all ways, all phases with the running game. Coach Julian, he had two touchdowns today. Uh, talk about your playmaker, Coach. He's just a great kid. You know, he plays a lot of different spots. Um, we put him in different areas because he's just such a great athlete. Um, you know, he can play receiver, he can play in the slot, play running back, quarterback. I mean, we put him all over the place. And on defense, he's one of our best tacklers. So uh, whenever we need something, you know, we're going to move him around and we're going to make it happen. Obviously, he compliments Frankie really well. And then you obviously have Xander in the backfield, which a lot of teams start keying on him. And it opens up Jason and the other guys out there on the edge. Coach, speaking of Frankie, Coach Frankie Morabito, he, yeah. he, he can continuously make yeah, plays, oh yeah, Coach. Yeah. He had a big interception today oh, he did, to stop yeah. a promising drive, Coach. Yeah. Talk about your playmaker, Coach. Give me a sign on him. Oh, he's great. Top, Like I said, top 100, and, um, you know, he's going to continue to grow and get better. Uh, he's a three-year starter for us. He started at corner for us as a sixth grader, and I remember him out here against UC. And, you know, when he was a sixth grader, he just continued to learn and continue to follow the plan and, and just got, continue to get better each week. And, and now he's an eighth grader. He's doing so good. He's kicking the ball now really well. And he's just a humble kid. You don't hear a lot from Frankie. Um, he's just very, you know, very focused and uh, and goal driven. So, coach, I'll get Sebastian this week. How y'all? How y'all keep it going, coach? Yeah, Sebastian's gonna be a big one. We're back at home. They're a rivalry school. They're right down the street from us. And um, you know, they're they're a good team. Their coaching staff's very good. Um, we're gonna scout them. They play Murray tomorrow at St. Augustine High. So uh, we just gotta keep going one day at a time. We told them celebrate tonight, but tomorrow we gotta get back to it and get back to work. And um, you know, there's a lot going on with the storms, but we just got to keep that goal in mind, county championship, and just keep keep moving forward. Coach, thanks for talking thank with you, me. Thank you for the Good luck to your future. Yes, sir. Thanks. Appreciate you, Coach. Thanks.